Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines because I am glad to be here. I'm ready to take on the global tyrants, the New World Order, and all their addled minions and mercenaries. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. It is the 23rd day of December 2012. We have uh, passed that imaginary line, that demarcation, no man's zone, no man's land of December 21st, 2012, used by the globalists and mainstream media for 37 years at least to hoax everyone that, ah, oh, don't be involved politically, don't be involved, the world's going to end anyways. And they tell the Christians the world's going to end because of the rapture every few years, and it's all just a giant cop-out, uh, but... Uh, the sun set on December 21st, and the sun came back up on the 22nd. I got to tell you, though, Thursday I was driving into work on the eve of December 21st, and now behind us on the highway of life and time here on the time-space continuum, and I tuned in to my local affiliate and heard one of the hosts, uh, not on the morning show, those are pretty smart guys, but on the show after it, where uh, the uh, co-host was saying, yeah, Alex Jones thinks the world's going to end tomorrow. Never said that in 17 years on air. Always said it was a fraud. Because I've been asked millions, not millions, let me be serious, thousands of times by callers and people on the street about 2012. Uh, and I just got so sick of it. Because it was always, oh, you're mistaken. Or no, you're a fed. You're a traitor. Because you don't think it's the end of the world. You know, you're making that up. You know, you're hiding. And then we got a call from one of the local TV stations uh, Friday. Which one was it, John? Yeah, yeah KXCN, uh, NBC. Uh, getting a comment. Alex thinks the world's going to end. We'd like to get his comment today. And we said Alex has never said that. We got a bunch of other calls too. My frustration is that even though I've always said it's a fraud, there are real threats we face. I saw people commenting on YouTube, the minority of them. Uh, on a special report we did, uh, Doomsday 2012 uh, Secrets Revealed, exposing the real threats, not the fake threat, and how this self-fulfilling prophecy is used to get us to stand down. And I noticed them saying, well, then why does he sell storable foods? Why does he promote guns and gold? Because of the real threats that 2012 obscured. Tyranny worldwide, global devaluation, the open world government being announced, the globalist or authoritarian eugenicist, Agenda 21, the deindustrialization program. That's why governments are digging in in their real Pentagon and British Ministry of Defense and NATO reports that are public. That's why the elite are digging in and moving to the countryside. That's mainstream news. That's, that's what's going on, okay? The billionaires I've talked to, quite a few of them. Everybody's moving to the country or getting out of Western nations. Look at the riots in Europe. That's why we get prepared. This, the public is so simple. They like get one thought in their mind at a time and that's it. And it's painful because I've, we've got to get people smarter or we're doomed, okay? See, the globalists like you dumber because you're easier to control. I like you smarter because I know what comes around goes around. I'm a human. I'm on team human. I want my kids to have a good future. So I want to get the dumb masses up off their butts. The biggest attack on the Second Amendment ever, our worst uh, analysis confirmed, but we're striking back. Straight ahead, stay with us. All the intel you need. Do you want to defend the republic or do you want to be a slave? That is the question you need to ask yourself right now. Do you want to be drunk on entertainment and mindless fluff and be a joke to the global social engineers? Or do you want to be an empowered human who is fighting to control their destiny and build a better world, not just for our children and grandchildren, but for the species itself? That is the question. Well, we're cruising into new territory. It's almost Christmas, and we are uh, here live. It is the 23rd day of December 2012, and this is going to be an extremely, uh, every broadcast is important. Every Sunday show, every weekday show I do are very, very important, but this one is particularly important. I've done a lot of preparation uh, for this broadcast to document and prove what I'm going to say here. Uh, number one, it, it is official. They are going to try to physically ban all semi-automatic handguns and rifles and make you turn them in. Uh, that is the White House uh, Council's plan, and we have all the proof of that. We're going to be going over it. It's part of the UN Treaty 
uh, to comply with that. And you cannot make this up. The Chinese and the Russians are, are offering to help disarm the American people. Uh, that is mainstream news as well. Uh, even that shocked me. I couldn't believe it. That's how dumbed down they think we are, that we just could care less about our sovereignty and uh, would say something like that. Because in the past, if foreign governments got involved saying, disarm your people, we'll like to help you with the UN, uh, that would cause the American people to say, oh, you'll never get our guns, stay out of our business. Uh, nowadays, you're called traitor if you don't uh, want to turn your uh, guns into the UN. So, uh, in fact, guys, will you print me even Forbes reporting that the UN treaty does take our guns? I, I just want to read them saying it. Uh, so, things are moving so quick, I can't even believe it. Okay, that's how bad it is. Um, on Thursday, I, I said to Kurt Nemo, uh, editor of Infowars.com, I said, I want you to do a story on these topics, and I want to put out a White House petition, uh, which anybody can do, uh, to call for the deportation of Piers Morgan. He did that Friday. It's in several thousand newspapers today, uh, and, and, and they can't get it right. They say Kurt Nemo founded and ran Infowars.com, which is fine. Most of them don't even say where the petition came from, but... Uh, uh, it's a, really a record. Uh, within about an hour, it should reach the 25,000 uh, signatures to make the White House respond to it. So we're going to talk about that. Now, again, Piers Morgan can say whatever he wants from England. He doesn't have a First Amendment here to engage in subversion. And when Piers Morgan came out and said, how dare you violate my First Amendment, the Wall Street Journal said, oh, here's a Supreme Court ruling from 77, bud, uh, that when foreigners come here in the media and try to overturn the Bill of Rights or Constitution, it's instant deportation. There have been thousands of people deported in the last century alone coming here and agitating. Now, now we may have been conditioned to put up with illegal activity, but no other country on earth lets somebody come to their country, come to their country and engage in, in, in attempted political actions. No one puts up with that. The Russians just arrested a bunch of uh, CIA fronts over there trying to stir up stuff in the media and things. And whereas it is authoritarian, it was an act of subversion going on. Now, I'm not saying arresting. I'm saying arresting and deporting. Uh, now, here's another issue. The Russian media, they, they run cable channels, uh, RT and RT, RT America here in the U.S. They've gotten on the bandwagon calling for us to have our guns turned in. So let me explain something, Russia Today and the Chinese media over here doing this. You need to get out of our country, okay? I know everybody thinks America's done and we're pathetic and there's nothing we won't put up with. And, you, and Obama became the head of the U.N. program program. Uh, the head of the UN Security Council a few years ago, totally illegal, violates Article 1, Section 9. It is high treason. They just flaunt everything in our face. Yeah, we have a president who's also the head of the UN Security Council. A president can't be the head of a foreign body, can't serve a foreign group. It's Article 1, Section 9. No one else in the world will put up with this. We've been so open and so nice that we'll put up with anything. So they're bringing in buckets of foreigners at CNN and MSNBC. In fact, that's mainly who they have up there. Putting down America, calling people rednecks who, who, who love freedom, putting us down, rubbing our noses in it, and, 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 and not just calling for us to turn our guns in, calling for socialism, everything else. And, you know, America has voted. Uh, I'm going to talk about this later, but it deals with the whole media hoax. And I even printed off some of the latest uh, Nielsen ratings on this. In Austin, Texas, the local affiliate we're on, 590 AM, I have looked at the trade publications at, at, at its top shows. Over 100,000 people an hour listening. One affiliate we have. I've gotten the ratings. We're number one in almost every demographic, just on a little Sunday show. Um, but, but their biggest shows in the morning and things uh, have well over 100,000 listeners at one time. I'm on stations in places like Chicago and Dallas where we have over 100,000 listeners an hour. Uh, they've got big uh, trade publications that boil down the instant ratings and the Arbitron, the rest of it. Anybody in radio can pull this up. That's why we're getting on four or five new stations a week right now, especially since the instant meters came in. Uh, and we are just exploding. Uh, we, on average, have over a half a million listeners every 15 minutes. And imagine it's a three-hour weekday show. Half a million every 15 minutes. And that's not counting XM. 
166. That's not counting Global Shortwave or number one on audio streams and podcast for the talk show, according to StatBrain, Google Analytics, uh, and uh, Shoutcast. So Piers Morgan runs around with three bodyguards armed. Piers Morgan, because uh, I've taught people that have been there and been around him at CNN. Well, it's been on the news. Piers Morgan runs around like he's God. And all these Hollywood stars go on his show and heads of state. The guy's top ratings, and he's the best on CNN now, half a million. It's five, uh, 550 something thousand, 56,000. Fox has like 3 million on the show up against it. And that's not even a very big audience uh, comparatively in media. Something like Rush Limbaugh has about 11 million tuning in at one time, 22 million a week. Because most of them are tuning in all the time, but it, overall it's 22 million. That's conservative. Uh, coast to coast AM, 16 million during the week, about 5 to 10 million, depending on what show it is. Uh, and believe me, I know the response. I go on CNN, no response. Go on Fox, no response. Go on coast to coast AM, run ads on Limbaugh. We've done that before. Just, you know, just blew our doors off. Okay. Again, these are paper tigers. No wonder CNN wants to shut down free speech on talk radio. They call it the fairness doctrine. No wonder they want to censor the internet because they can't compete with us. But they have giant sets, emperor's new clothes. The emperor has no clothes. And, and here's this twit with all these bodyguards who wants your gun so you can't protect yourself. And he is literally a fantasy. Conservative numbers on this Sunday show which we've done so stations can get a taste of the broadcast. They almost always end up picking up the weekday. It always goes. They pick up Sunday, then they put us on at night during the weekdays, then we're on primetime. Boom. Still. Then on six years Sunday, guess what the numbers are? Approaching two million conservatively over the two hours. Guess what the weekday is? Three mil and growing. In fact, it's much higher, but I'm not ready to give those numbers out yet. Probably going to be in excess of five mil. The, the, the system is, these people are jokes because some foreigner says, turn your guns in, you are. Go back to England, a country you've already destroyed, you red coat punk. Okay, let's plunge straight into the news today. It is all off the chart. I want to direct you to articles at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com that all link to, quote, mainstream establishment media a foreign banker owned and run globalist uh, operations. Go, go look up who owns the dominant media. And it's all state run, whether it's CNN, whether it's MSNBC, it all gets government uh, banker bailout money, stimulus money, you name it. The media is just subsidiaries of these global combines. New York governor, gun confiscations enforced buyback, an option Kurt Nemo, Infowars.com, this story went viral uh, on Friday, and it all comes out of a New York Times story. Cuomo says he'll outline gun proposal next month in the State of the State uh, address, and he made his comments, there's audio of it, on WGDJAM. And he said, we may let you keep a few of your guns, but most of them, you can go read the quote and go listen to the audio. He said, you'll have to turn in most of your guns and we'll pay you for them. So... Uh, get ready, because somebody committed a crime with a gun, you've got to turn your guns in, even though the new FBI crime statistics, we showed these on Friday, because we also stream video, go to FBI.gov, crime has gone down more than 20% the last seven years, thanks to increased gun ownership. Mass shootings have gone up a tiny bit, but the media hyping of them has really increased. Continuing, CNN pushes British-style gun ban. Paul Watson covered this on InfoWars Nightly News Friday. He's going to we're going to play a clip of that at the end of the show next hour. Very powerful. Uh, and they said, just take everyone's guns and let them be at a gun range where you check them out only to target shoot. That's how it is in England now. The only, and, and you have to go through backgrounds just to do that. So that's British style, uh, almost total uh, gun ban. Then there's this article, the official People's Daily of the Communist Party of China uh, came out on Friday and said, quote, we want to help Obama wage war on gun owners and help disarm them. And they support the implementation of the UN Small Arms Treaty that will uh, allow the UN to control, once we sign on to it, they can just have a general assembly vote of the whole UN, all those dictators and people, and then we are under treaty to then turn our guns in. And by the way, that's not Alex Jones uh, breaking this down. Here is Forbes, 
Uh, for folks watching on PrisonPlanet.tv, you can see it right there. Uh, if you're a radio listener, you can uh, simply go to search engine and type in UN agreement should have all gun owners up in arms. And it goes on to say, it says it'll restrict our guns and then allow them with a simple UN majority vote, no Security Council veto, to ban them in the future. You might want to actually go read the treaty. Obama says he's going to push the Senate. Now, huge uh, Democrat dominated, only the Senate is needed uh, to pass that in March. Mm, isn't all this just perfect timing? Mm, isn't that just special? Let's go on to the next little uh, piece here. So Friday, as Americans, we strike back. You got the Russian TV broadcast in English uh, in Europe. Uh, it's actually on broadcast uh, where Paul Watson lives in London on the regular television with rabbit ears. It's on cable here in the U.S., RT. It's calling for us to turn our guns in on, on its two channels 24-7. Uh, and Piers Morgan, uh, who is facing all sorts of criminal charges, we're going to go over some of those later here. He's facing six criminal charges, including a felony conspiracy to prevent the courts of justice. Needless to say, they're trying to get him to come back to England. He isn't too happy to do that. Nothing against the great British people or the folks of the UK, the Scots and the great Irish, all of them great people. I'm I'm. I'm related to all of them, but really, you're, I mean, your countries are tyrannies now. You admit that. Your crime has more than doubled since you took the guns 15 years ago. We've gone over those numbers. Even British newspapers admit it. And here he is. So Friday, we strike back at Piers Morgan. And we say, you know what, buddy? You're engaged in something uh, that has been very well documented for a very long time. Uh, it's sedition if a citizen is trying to overthrow the constitutional lawful government. But if government tries to overthrow the basic liberty, it is then our right and duty to throw it off. But it is called subversion when a foreign asset comes here and seeks to change the government. And it says, sign petition to deport Piers Morgan for his attack on the Constitution. That came out at about noon on Friday during the broadcast. And you've got to sign your name and say who you are. Uh, when you do that, and we'll show again people this article, you can link through and sign the petition. It's almost the 25000 needed. You need 25000 in a month to have Obama respond to it. He's sworn to do. That means he won't. Well, then what good is this? We need 349 more to get it going. Sure, we'll get like 500000 by the time we're done. This has just gone viral today. It's good because Obama has people signing a petition to ban our guns, and he's going to hold that up to us. Or, you know, things like that. So it's good to get attention. It's good to focus things uh, on here and his subversion inside our country. Now, Piers Morgan, I'm going to show viewers a bunch of these articles right here. He fired back last night uh, at Infowars.com, at DrudgeReport.com, that also linked to our petition. It's still linked there on the right-hand side right now. I think that's the easiest place to find is DrudgeReport.com. Go about halfway down the right-hand side. It's right there. To find a link directly to the petition. We need to get a link back on the main page of Infowars.com. But the point is, is that you can go there and you can read literally, ladies and gentlemen, there are thousands of articles because you can type in Piers Morgan Deport and it says several thousand articles. Russian TV, French TV, British TV, they're all saying, how dare you Americans turn your guns in? So we'll probably say, oh, we'll be polite. Here's our guns, since the French said so. But gun advocate asked Obama administration to deport Piers Morgan. And in 90% in of these articles or more, they will never say Infowars.com. That's how scared the mainstream media uh, is of the real media that isn't state run. But that doesn't matter. Our goal was, we didn't even put Infowars.com in the petition. It's Kurt Nemo. We did that so it would actually get out there to people. Okay, continuing, there's the Hollywood Reporter. Uh, here's Huffington Post, Piers Morgan's deportation petition posted to White House after his gun control rants. The Examiner uh, did report that it is an Infowars.com uh, petition, so that's good. Uh, here's France 24, national TV, U.S. gun advocate seeks deportation of Piers Morgan. Uh, no, it's it's tens of thousands of people signing it. It goes on and on with all the reports. Now, if you go to Infowars.com, we have an article uh, titled, The Law Says Deport Piers Morgan. And I want to go over uh, some of this for people, because uh, if you go to Infowars.com, we have links to the Wall Street Journal 
uh, writer, Wall Street Journal columnist explains on Twitter how to deport Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan made jokes and said, you can't deport me on his Twitter. I'm not joking. It says, I'm a British supremacist. I'm not joking. Go read them. I'm a British supremacist, and I'm going to dominate you. And then somebody said, you're glad those kids are dead. You can use them for that. And he said, yeah, I am. So he's a totally arrogant uh, person fleeing justice from England. I mean, he is a, the slimiest guy in media. He had to leave England, okay? So, so here's this foreigner. When we come back, we're going to explain how for subterfuge, uh, how for subversion, he needs to be on the first airplane shackled out of this country because he's here trying to take our Second Amendment. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. That's 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. We are live on the radio. And, hey, that's not enough for us because we want to fight for liberty 24-7. I'm back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. We have the weeknight uh, InfoWars nightly news, 7 to 8 o'clock Central as well at InfoWarsNews.com. And, by the way, it's not too late to get all your Christmas shopping done for friends and family and coworkers and support our broadcast Man, I looked at the traffic going to Barton Creek Mall today, backed up for like 10 miles or something. It's just amazing here in Austin. If you're listening out in the country, I'm sure you're seeing the same thing around your malls. Hey, that's fine. Keep the economy going, whatever. The point is, as long as you don't go into debt. See, I don't think consumerism is bad if it isn't your God. My point is, is the best way to wake people up is documentary films. And we created almost 10 years ago, PrisonPlanet.tv. And for 15 cents a day, you can get a membership to see all my films, my daily radio show with video feed like we're doing right now with a five camera shoot, uh, special reports, live events when I'm on the road. The list just goes on and on. My book, Paul Watson's book. Well, now I just said, you know what? <clears throat> Let's have it when somebody goes and creates a membership and creates their username and passcode. That you just create a username and passcode you can share with 10 more people. So it's really 11 memberships for $5.95 a month. That's less than 59 cents per person. 10 people, 59 cents a person per month. And it's in high def. We've been high def the last few years, a lot of the productions. So it's all up there and it works really great. We've redesigned it. You know, eight years ago, PrisonPlanet.tv worked okay. Five years ago, it worked decent. Three years ago, it worked pretty good. Today, it's smoking hot and getting better. And we're just going to add more and more and apps and everything coming up next year. The point is, prisonplanet.tv or infowarsnews.com, you can go there. You can give yourself a membership to see all the films, all the special reports, everything. The nightly news, 7 o'clock central every night. Sometimes it's like four hours long, but usually about an hour. We're about to put it on TV, so it has to be a set hour soon. So I'm just saying it's going to be an hour to get you ready for that. We'll go into overdrive sometimes live. The point is, is that we're taking the training wheels off, ladies and gentlemen, going to the next level. We just keep doing that because we have the animating contest of liberty to fight here. It's so exciting, like Thomas Jefferson talked about. We're going to defeat the tyrants. You can go in there, set up your own membership, and then put in an e-card or in a physical card, hey, here's your documentary film uh, news site membership. Just go there, put in the username, passcode, you're on. 11 people simultaneously signed up, prisonplanet.tv, and uh, the little bit of money we make off of it. Not that it's bad to make money, but <laughs> my goal is to reach people. Uh, with 11 people using a 595 membership, uh, the bandwidth costs have gone way up to $100,000 a month just, just for that site. I mean, to give you an idea how many people are using it, I don't want to get into numbers here, but it's... Uh, about 200,000 people every night tune in one way or another. And people are like, oh, big deal. Well, I know, 3 million on the weekday radio show and growing. And almost 2 million on the Sunday show. The point is, this is a subscription site. 200,000 people are tuning in. A half million tune into Piers Morgan. He's free. We're building the next media platform to bring down the globalist. I've already got all sorts of TV deals lined out from here to Valhalla. The issue is I've got to get us ready first. And get more reporters in, more researchers, more fact checkers. Because again, we try to tell the truth. And that's a hard thing to do. It's easy to lie all day and spin like the media does. We aren't perfect, but we try to get it right. That's my pledge. That we are consciously working to get you as close to the truth as you can get. Because we all see through rose-colored glasses, as the Bible says. 
I am simply attempting to see as clearly as I can. We're all humans, we're all fallible, we all have issues. I am trying to tell you as close to my hardcore research as we can get. And I think it's proven it's pretty darn accurate. I'd give us about a 95, 96% accuracy rate. Okay, um, let me get back into this. We put out a petition um, at the whitehouse.gov. Usually it takes weeks to get 25,000 signatures. We're right there right now. Uh, 24,795, 205 more. Uh, the White House says they'll respond. They're total liars. They probably won't. They didn't respond to all those state secession ones that got hundreds of thousands. But the public sees it, and it creates a huge media event. On, on Friday, they said, well, why are we going to do this article the White House just ignores it. I said, you watch how much media attention this gets to the fact that a foreigner who's fleeing justice from England on record is here. The yellow journalism, you know, reported phone hacker, alleged phone hacker, all this stuff. They, they're trying to charge him right now with felonies for it. He's here. We're going to expose it. And I said, you watch. He's going to arrogantly attack and make fun of people because I know his M.O. I mean, I don't like this guy, okay? Not because he's a big you know, gun grabber, that's bad enough, because he's, he's, he's the mouse that roars, but because he's so slimy and has that arrogant affront to him that just, I'm sorry, is the opposite of how I was raised and who I am as a Texan. You know, I guess last the Mohicans here, but the point is, I like genuine people, people that look you in the eye, and Piers Morgan is a sack of garbage, okay? Sad issue. Uh, let's continue here with the facts. The Wall Street Journal explains... Uh, that uh, you know, Piers is like, oh, you're trying to take my First Amendment. I thought you want your rights. No, subversion is a foreigner here trying to overthrow our form of government. And our government is the Bill of Rights, is the Constitution. And so, hey, if communists are calling to put me in a FEMA camp, and we've had them on the show, I'm like, it's your right to say I should be arrested and put in a FEMA camp because you're a citizen. I don't agree with you, but okay. I've gone out and protested the Ku Klux Klan many times. And I've said, you have a right to be up there saying that, I have a right to protest you. But when a foreigner comes to your country and says, get rid of your rights, and our government is the Bill of Rights and Constitution, we the people made that. That's the government, not the crooks that have taken it over. When they do that, folks, it is absolute subversion and, 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 and espionage against our country. And that is exactly uh, what they say in the Wall Street Journal responding to our article. Your opinion is protected. Your presence in the U.S. is not. See Klein Dynast versus Mandel, 1972, another hearing in 77, where they deported communists trying to get rid of the Bill of Rights. There you go. And that was the case of a Belgium communist, Ernst Mandel. So, and there's been countless others. Let me explain to you how this works, okay? It, no nation on earth puts up with foreigners coming. Look, I don't like the corrupt Russian government, but when they kicked out a bunch of foreign agitators from the U.S. last month, I said, well, what do you expect them to do? You don't let foreigners, the U.N., created by the globalist, is here saying they're going to get a treaty passed that, that the House can't see where now a simple majority of the UN, once it passes, takes, all, what, 60% to get it passed. Once it passes, 51% of the UN General Assembly votes, our guns go bye-bye. Okay, we're going under global governance right now. They brag, Europe's already under it, run by six megabanks who brag they're setting up world government. And they're the ones that want us disarmed. Bloomberg made his $25 billion off that. These are insiders, folks. These are monopoly men. And the article in the Wall Street Journal, uh, one of their senior writers, uh, goes over uh, all of that. So you can go to Infowars.com and read our article that gives even more background on this. The law says deport Piers Morgan. Why Infowars is calling for his deportation. And I went further. I said, hey, subversion calls for arrest. Okay, now, now arrest to deport him. And see, folks, you're like, oh, that'll never happen. If you don't think it will, it won't. You've got to start recognizing we've been trained. See, here's the deal. Americans have always been incredibly hospitable and open-armed. The globalists bring in foreigners, because a lot of foreigners, the best people we got in this country, we're nation of immigrants. But a lot of the foreigners that come here now are taught to hate America. They're taught that the government's your friend, the population's your enemy, and, and they, they vote over 90% to take guns. They vote to take liberties. They vote to do this. They're bringing foreigners in, 
as a force with the government to go after our liberties. And that is, again, sedition and treason by the people and the government. The foreigners are involved in subversion and espionage. The people that are citizens are involved in treason. And it's Fareed Zarkaria, the synthetic American, you know, not really a citizen in my view, saying turn our guns in, Americans are dumb idiots. Well, then get out of here. If it's so bad, if you're so elitist with your fake liberal lisp, get out of here. Get out of my country. The last domino to fall for the global crime syndicate, a bunch of Bernie Madoffs who just haven't made it to prison yet, is that the public doesn't listen to them, doesn't trust them, doesn't like them, but we don't know that everybody else knows that. But the numbers show it. CNN, if you look at the numbers 20 years ago, had about 10 million viewers during Larry King. I want to show you a media light story uh, showing him, oh, Piers Morgan's top uh, on CNN with half a million viewers total. And it goes over his viewers. I mean, that is a complete joke, folks. Sh I mean, should I have bodyguards in a helicopter land me at work and walk around in a, in a, in a cloak? Folks, I think with green screen, we should have me on top of a gold pyramid being fanned and worshipped. And, and, and maybe with some a, a grill and some bling and girls in bathing suits. Maybe that's the new level of media where, where oh, he must have a lot of viewers if, if this is going on. Remember, this guy has armed bodyguards but want your guns, wants your guns. So there are some of the numbers uh, on that. You can just type in Piers Morgan's ratings. And his best ratings ever are 556,000 total viewers. I'm looking at it right here. Out of Arbitron. Or not out of Arbitron, this is out of Nielsen. And they're bragging about it in Mediaite. About, oh my gosh, his top ratings on CNN. Oh my God. Ooh. I mean, that'd be like walking up to a bag lady and saying, you're the richest woman on earth. Look at you, you've got a thing full of tin cans. But I guess it's CNN, I mean, of all of the uh, midgets, you know, some of them are about six inches tall. I mean, he is almost a foot tall. I mean, uh, nothing against midgets, you get my analogy. I mean, this is just amazing. Total viewers of 556K, ooh, down from 10 million. I mean, these people are a joke. But the criminal government, the military industrial complex owned by foreign banks, it is still in charge. So I guess it isn't a joke. But they need to just put on this big act that, hey, we said so. And we're in control. And Piers Morgan laughed at Americans on his Twitter. You think I'm joking? Go to Real Alex Jones. We've tweeted some of them, retweeted them out. We wrote an article about it at Infowars.com where he says, I have come and conquered. I am the British supremacist. I will get your guns. Look at this right here. This is out of AmericanProgress.org. Think again, considering CNN's choice to hire Piers Morgan. The news that former Rupert Murdoch conciliary... Rebecca Brooks, who is awaiting trial for six separate crimes, including most seriously conspiracy to prevent the course of justice, received a $11.2 million payoff for her actions that helped destroy News of the World. In addition to covering her legal fees and drivers, implies that perhaps the alleged crimes of which she is accused are not exactly frowned upon by her higher ups. Well, that's hush money. Then it goes into how he's had to testify and they're looking to charge him with this. Okay. And then it just goes over the fact that uh, he doesn't like to show up in England too much. So the point is, I'm not obsessing on Piers Morgan here all day. But if we can route one of these rats, if we can run one of these, one of these scallywags, like, you know, king of, of yellow journalism and tabloid garbage, now the maven, now the pimp uh, over at the, at the, at, at the faltering, uh, amnesiac uh, CNN, then we will have victory. But these people are a joke. Yes, if you go to uh, whitehouse.gov, uh, deport British citizen Piers Morgan for attacking Second Amendment. It's now 25,031. You know, this just went out Friday afternoon, and, and, and I saw Atlantic Magazine making sniveling jokes about how we couldn't get any signatures. I've seen Obama try, uh, try to get 25,000 signatures in a month for something. See, see, we could find the secret to everlasting life and the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. They'd go, well, that's nothing. Merely a flesh wound, kind of like Monty Python. Oh, I've chopped off both your arms and legs. It's nothing. 
You know, I demand the shrubbery. <laughs> we are the knights that go neat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, there is just no end to these people. And so it's all a big act. This is all a big dress-up show, like little girls dressing up like they're princesses. And then they disdain, oh, talk radio, that's not media. The internet, that's not media. None of you are media. Listen, I've interviewed the reporter, Lion. I've interviewed the reporter, Amber Lion, who couldn't get her reports out about Muslim countries mass murdering peaceful protesters because they were, they were aligned with the West. And then they told her, well, you don't understand, CNN is funded by the Saudi Arabians and by the folks in Qatar. You didn't know our whole news division was actually underwritten by this king and that king. She's been on the show. And I said, Amber, you didn't know the CIA in 2000 it came out ran all the major domestic and foreign news reports and that there's generals in plain clothes? She said, no, I didn't know that. I was a, you know, what, uh, Emmy Award winning, what was it, three times, uh, you know, a field reporter. And then she wouldn't shut up and basically quit over it. And I said, no. And then she went and looked it up and, of course, found it was in the Washington Post and World Net Daily, as I said it was. Folks, this is globalist-run media. This isn't even government state-run, though your taxpayer money goes through it through bailouts and stimulus money. Did you know your stimulus money went to give Rachel Maddow, you know, the short-haired uh, person on, uh, on uh, MSNBC that has even less viewers? And... I mean, she's got like 300,000 viewers or something. And she's there, though, telling you how it is because she's arrogant. Because they smile and they, they just get like, like, almost have like a criminal energy, I would describe it. Where they're like, yeah, now let's go to this and misrepresent it. Yeah, now let's go to the extremist Alex Jones who wants violence and a special report. You know, you know they've had those. and uh, uh, well, I'm up here on TV. I'm in charge. You'll do what I say. I want to control everything. Yeah, there it is. Labor Department spends stimulus funds for ads during Oberman Maddow shows. Oh, it's worse than that. Look, I don't need your taxpayer money to run this operation. You want to buy my books, my videos, the T-shirts, the ball caps? Click on the sponsor links at Infowars.com. You want to support our local AM and FM affiliates? Do it. You want to call local affiliate managers, tell them put us on an area that we're not on in? Do it. You want to spread the word about InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, PrisonPlanet.tv. You want to give somebody a gift subscription to InfoWars Magazine. You want to pass on one of our YouTube videos. Do it. They don't want you to know you have all the power. So they have Obama as the new president of the UN, violating Article 1, Section 9 as the head of the Security Council, whacking you on the head. They have a train of foreigners, bad-mouthing conservatism, bad-mouthing the family, libertarians, bad-mouthing fathers. In every sitcom and drama, fathers are moron idiots being bossed around by their women. All CIA funded to break up the family so the state can take over. That's all admitted. <clears throat> Call their bluff. Realize you have the power. Call their bluff. Get active. Get aggressive. Get serious. Not with the fake blue blood Republicans that got so scared of the Ron Paul Tea Parties five years ago, they came and took it over and derailed it. No, go shout down the Democrats. Go shout down the Republicans. Go to every public meeting they're at. When your preacher tells you to turn your guns in and big government's good and open the borders, it's for the Lord. You say you're opening the borders to bring in illegals to make them citizens to vote to take our guns. Get aggressive with the foreign banking takeover. Foreign banks have opened our borders, flooded us, driven down our wages, badmouthed our republic. Homeland Security teaches gun owners, returning veterans, conservatives, libertarians are terrorists. I've got, coming up in the next hour, three news clips saying gun ownership is racism. Turn your guns in and prove you're not racist on CNN and MSNBC. You're like, what's if you with race? They just say it. Don't like government-run health care? You're a racist. They are the ones creating division. We're like, yeah, bring the foreigners in. They're there giving them free welfare. Free health care, citizens don't get, babies paid for tuition while telling them America hates you, the American people are scum, they're redneck, white filth, get rid of them, deal with them. I mean, this is what they teach. This is amazing. You turn on MSNBC, it's like a Ku Klux Klan rally, except it's whites running a bunch of, quote, minorities who are really the majority in most areas of the country. It's incredible. They're using race politics. Race politics works, folks. 
and, and, and you look at these seditious enemies. I've got the clips coming up, and the, the governor of New York says, yeah, I'm talking to Obama. We're going to call for all the guns to be turned in. Obama appoints a task force of anti-gunners. Then the task force comes and says, you're going to do this. And Reuters says, the president by law can ban guns if the task force says so. No, the president can't. You don't appoint your own goons and have them then say do something. The Congress has to do it. But see, Obama says the UN runs our wars. Obama says foreign governments are the ones that say we've got to turn our guns in. The Russians and the Chinese governments that oppress their people are in the news right now saying they want to help Obama politically get our guns. Ladies and gentlemen, America is under attack. If the Second Amendment goes, it all goes. Your pension funds, your bank accounts, forced inoculations, everything. They want the guns so you will be their slaves. Stay with us. You know, I uh, sit there at home while my children are painting or doing homework. And I just think about the globalists. I think about all the facets of what they're doing. I think about how desperate I am to try to defeat these people and just how disgusting they are. I mean, these are the worst of the worst authoritarians. That's who's gotten in control. See, because you could build a big government to be altruistic, but it will always be taken over by wicked people. And I watch now the politics that they're all going with that as soon as they got the demographic of the majority being non-white, you now see the demographic of it's racist to not want socialism and communism. And I'm going to talk more about that after the break, and then I'm going to give the number out uh, so that everybody can call in. The phones aren't open yet, but we'll do it when we start uh, the next segment here in just a few minutes. Um, it is such a big deal that... They don't care if it's not popular. They need to create the illusion. In fact, that's an important point I need to do a whole, a whole report on. They want to create the illusion that they can legitimately take guns. Take guns illusion. That's what they do. They create illusions that you wanted government health care. They create illusions that you wanted Barack Obama by having a fraud run against him as well. And then having Obama win through a fraudulent election. The fraud Romney, all the evidence shows, did actually win. But it wouldn't have mattered. They still wanted Obama. And it wouldn't have mattered if he got in. It's just it was fixed at every level. Because the globalists get all the money, all the power, all the control by just having the puppet president over the puppet empire. America is the heart of the global government. It's what's forcing everybody into it. Because America had more liberty. Brazil has more resources across the board than the United States. You take just three African countries from Nigeria over, has more resources than all the United States. There's three African countries. But they can't produce anything because there's no trust. There's no do business, trust in people, have ideas, honor people that are into invention. I remember old timers when I was a kid growing up were always into machines and fixing things and knowing how things work and all these old World War II vets I knew that I'd go and visit on the farm and stay with and stuff always had like invention magazines and ideas and they'd talk about space travel and stuff. And these were old, what you'd call rednecks, people that had started their own businesses, been successful. And they had more smarts than a toddling little globalist shellout, Pierce Morgan, who thinks that he's cool because he can manipulate a nation of zombies. That's not cool. Let me tell you what's cool, Piercy. It's awakening a nation of zombies and turning them back into humans. It's finding that switch in people to make them humans. That's what I want to see. But see, I'm not an arrogant person putting on a hipster front that I'm too cool to talk to anybody. And everybody's like, well, who's that? They put on an arrogant bearing. I want to be away from people like that. I want to be around the quiet, strong, powerful, smart, amazing people that will turn to you and open their eyes. You can see the electricity. That's who I want to be with forever, not with you people. And it's disgusting to watch you take over the world. And I know this, we're going to beat you. I use the Beowulf analogy. Free humanity has got you, Grendel, by the arm. And try as you may, we're not letting go. We've decided to hold on to it. And while we hold on to your arm, we're going to politically just stab you and stab you until the point of you're going to rip your own arm off 
just to get away from us. And then you're going to go on down the icy slope, bleeding to death, like all tyrannies do, declaring your power with howls of pain as you march to towards the cold sea. We got you by the arm. I know that feeling of victory, and we're going to rip it out of your socket politically. No amount of dead kids you stayed ma stage massacres of globalists is going to stop us. We know you're murderers. We know you run black ops worldwide. We know you run Al-Qaeda. We know you stage all these events. Newport's got all the signs, all the signatures. You know what? We got your arm, and it's already starting to tear loose. And you're, stop you're not roaring and snapping your teeth like you're powerful anymore. You're squealing, and you're scared. We're going to pull your arm out of its socket. We'll be right back. So we have all these foreign globalist interests that have taken over the United States, the greatest engine of wealth and liberty the world's ever seen. They've run us in the ground, got us into debt to them through fiat derivatives deals our trader collaborator government signed on to. They've used our money and our tre treasure to leverage their private world government while using their own media to blame us for their crimes that they've committed worldwide so the mega banks don't get the blame. The mega banks are imploding Europe, imploding California, imploding other areas with debt. Uh, Bloomberg, a foreign banking asset out of the UN, checking to his sister at the UN, $25 billion off of uh, insider deals. Uh, he is calling for the total abolition of firearms. He's got Cuomo pushing for that. And I've never seen, I've had Larry Pratt of Gun Owners of America on and others. I, I've talked to members of Congress on air and off air. They've never seen an attack like this. They're going for broke. We've never seen the Russians and the Chinese saying, disarm your people. We've never seen the media say, you're a Ku Klux Klan member of you own guns. You've seen that in the news, starting with Fox Sports three weeks ago, now everywhere. They're making their move. And I got some clips coming up of uh, MSNBC and others where they talk about this. And again, they've learned with Americans, especially white Americans, you say something's racist. They could say, you're racist if you don't stick your white daughter in a blender. Many mothers would murder their child on the spot. And I'm not really being sarcastic about that. Political correctness is a religion. The Aztecs said, hey, you're not politically correct if you don't give us your kids to sacrifice. And we've pretty much gotten to that point now uh, where this is the tool they use. And now we're going to go into divide and conquer the British model where they brought in enough foreigners and enough people and made them be racially motivated, racial identity, while teaching whites not to have a racial identity. And they're now going to basically bring down the United States. It has nothing to do with race. The globalists are just cold-bloodedly playing people off against each other, off of the fraternity of humans and, and, and caring about people for what they stand for and their ideas and uh, not being into tribalism or racism. That is all laudable. You know, I have a dream, but it's all co-opted to sell their agenda, where if you're not for socialism, people I've known for a long time have told me point blank who are liberals. They go, if you don't support socialism and yes, communism, you are a racist. And I'm like, well, you used to be a liberal against Bush with drones and killing and wars, and you were my friend, but now you're saying if I don't turn my guns in, I'm racist? And they say, yes. And, and I may name names, too. People could probably guess who it is. And I'm like, but I'm not. I mean, the government wants my guns to enslave me. And the thing is, well, we've got to have a collective and you can't have guns, only the state can. And the UN says in their UNIDIR documents that are in the preamble and, and were used to develop the UN Small Arms Treaty, they say the civilian ownership of firearms threatens the legitimate power monopoly of the state. And that's what this is all about, is the power monopoly of the state. Hitler had a power monopoly. Stalin had a power monopoly. Mao, who said political power goes out of the barrel of a gun. Disarmed their people, killed over 60 million. I mean, I know history. See, I'm an expert in history. Like the average man is an expert in cool motorcycles and ball games and how to be cool with the buds. And I look at these men and I go, look, you need to be cool when it comes to knowing how the world works. They're like, ah, you were about that. I'm like, listen, you have no idea how much trouble we're in. If you just spend a little time being a real man, we could turn this around. If you take it personal. But no, they've got you so used to foreigners telling you you're a redneck scum American. I mean, they, they get on the news, MSNBC, CNN, and trash the entire South and say we're all stupid and dumb. They say Texas is pathetic and we're all mentally retarded. You, you've all heard it. And, 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 and really, that's statistically not true. And 
There's more CEOs from Texas than any other area of the country. And the list goes on and on. These guys don't live in the real world. They haven't been in the high councils of power where half the people in the room are from Texas. They just sit there and act like morons and feel elitist all day. I don't care if you're from New York City. I don't care if you're from Chicago, California, wherever. I love you. You're an American. I love you if you live in Nigeria or Japan. I want you to be free. And it makes me sick to see how they used multiculturalism to bring this country down. Now, here's the toll-free number to join us. It's the Sunday number, different than the weekday number. 877-789-ALEX. 877-789-2539. First-time callers that have good phones. That's all I ask. 877-789-ALEX. All right. And we'll take two segments of calls, and I'm going to end the final segment with the intro of Friday night's InfoWars Nightly News with a good Brit, guy that makes England proud, Paul Joseph Watson, 30 years old and working for me for 10 years, and just every day his stories go nationwide. I mean, just just savage reporter when it comes to research. Uh, and so we're going to have him in the final segment, just because just it's so good. I was watching it, uh, re-watching the, the InfoWars Nightly News, because I have different hosts and people that do it. I do it some of the time. I always follow reports every night, but... Um, Paul Watson's only problem is he and his wife are not here in Austin, Texas. And I ought to just drop the hammer on him and make him move here, you know. I can do that, you know. I'm just so nice to the whole crew. Uh, but Watson is a rock star of, of liberty. Okay, let's go to all these clips. This is Bloomberg saying, we just want sensible gun control. And by the way, I have um, him in the AP and political ticker. Bloomberg, no one has defended the Second Amendment like as much as I have. That's a quote. He wants total bans, has a total ban in New York. And see, they say the Second Amendment now means turn your guns in. Before they said it didn't mean the right to own our guns. Now it means you can have a musket loader on a blue moon locked up at a gun range like England. Where they then banned all the hunting after that. So let's go ahead uh, and see, people say Second Amendment isn't about hunting, and I agree it's about defense against criminals and government. But hunting's the key to it, though, in the culture. That's why all over the world they're banning hunting. No, no, when, when I say Bloomberg, it's Bloomberg financing the, uh, the uh, video. Yeah, no, it's the... And, and in fact, let me just dig the notes out right here so I can give people the actual name of uh, Bloomberg's uh, new program. We'll go ahead and play this. Yeah, this is demandaplan.org with another White House uh, petition where they're saying, give us a plan. Obama already has a plan. Take your guns, register them, put you on a no-gun buy list outside law. Let's go to this sickening clip with people like Jamie Foxx in it who got up on the news and said, let's kill all the white people. And Chris Rock, I mean, you know, these guys are, is that that idiot comedian's name? All I hear is his racist comments from time to time. Yeah, that's his name. Oh, I'm con And again, it's like, oh, well, they're black. They can't be racist. So let's go to this clip. Here it is. Columbine. Virginia Tech. Tucson. Aurora. Fort Hood. Oak Creek. Newtown. 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 How many more? How many more? How many more colleges? How many more classrooms? How many more movie theaters? How many more houses of faith? How many more shopping malls? How many more street corners? How many more? How many more? Enough. How many more Enough. Nazi Germanys? Enough. How many more Chinas? Demand a plan. When the Klan right took their guns after the Civil as War. A as a dad. As a friend. As useful idiots. As a husband. As, as authoritarian a pimps. As an American. By the foreign-owned an Hollywood mafia system. As an American. Oh. As a human being. As a human the being. Children, they couldn't get him to say American. Demand a plan. Demand. No more Bloomberg. Run everything. It's not too soon. It's too late. Bloomberg says now what you can time. eat. Before we all know someone who loves Blimbird someone. says you should live in a 200 square no foot list. apartment. No more. Who they might have been. No more. If we had just done something. All right, that's day. enough. Shut it's up, time. Aniston. Let me tell you, I, I made a note of any of these actors. I promise. I don't watch a lot of Hollywood stuff anyways. I will never go to any film that these turds are in, okay? Because they're so stupid. Let me explain something to everybody. Government killed over 260 million people. University of Arizona. Uh, University of Hawaii, uh, democide reports. Look up democide, murder by government. Non-military, 260 plus million, murder by government. And every time they take the guns. And remember the Native Americans? Turn your bows and arrows and guns in and we'll be nice to you after. How'd that work out for them? 
Crime's gone down over 20% in the FBI.gov statistics. Look them up. Just type in crime, crime statistics, crime going down. Violent crime. And the FBI admits it's gun ownership. These people want to use these dead kids with some Prozac head whose mother bought the guns jumping through 100 hoops in Connecticut. And they want to take our guns because of somebody else committing a crime. And Bloomberg has organized this uh, to come after our basic liberties. It's incredible. When we come back, I got another clip where they again say it's, it's racist white people that want to own guns. And then your phone calls straight ahead. What you were about to receive. We are here setting brush fires in the minds of men and women of every race, color, and creed worldwide. If you know about the globalists and their plan for world government against humanity, their dehumanization, if you have liberty beating in your heart, then we are brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Regardless of race, color, creed, we need to come together against the new world order and realize what they're doing. I've got a lot of other international news I need to get to. We'll cover a lot of it tomorrow on the daytime show, 11 to 2 Central, but I promise to go to your calls. But let's go to, uh, how do you pronounce this lady's name? Anthea Butler on MSNBC. And, and, and she actually sounds nice about this. She's not like Jamie Foxx. We played the clip saying, you know, we, I, I want to kill all the white people. We kill all the white people. Isn't that fun? Again, it's just, just, just a sick, sick, sick division. They want us divided to politically control us. She talked about how on MSNBC... How whites want guns because they're scared of the black and brown people. Remember how they said, oh, don't buy guns. Obama will never try to take your guns. I mean, he said as a state senator, he believes in the total ban. The current attorney general is on record. But look, three weeks before this happened, this came out a month ago. This came out in late November. Infowars magazine. This man wants your guns as the cover. And it's Obama standing on top of the American flag or sitting on top of the American flag in a chair. And it gets into how they're coming after the guns, how they'd use executive orders to do it. And now Reuters is like, it's the law. He can ban your guns by executive order. Well, that's not what the law says. But they think their readers are stupid. They talk to you. It's the law. The government can blow your head off for no reason. It's the law that the government can, that the state police can stick their hand inside your body for no reason. I mean, the state police in Texas were first defending, pulling people over and sticking their hands inside their bodies. Until the public blew up and they went, okay, you're right, we shouldn't have done that. Government has gone crazy. And no, it's not the end of the world. It's the end of the world as we know it. I got to say this because I was driving to work Thursday and heard local talk radio in Austin saying, oh, Alex thinks the world's going to end tomorrow. And then I had local TV call me and national TV call me Friday saying, the world isn't ending. You said it was going to end. What do you think? KXAN called her. Look. I've never said the world was going to end. I said 2012 was a hoax for 16 years plus on air. I get asked it all the time. I'm sick of it. I'm so glad it's over. What's going to end is our republic and our dollar and our freedom and your pension funds if this continues. That's why we're getting prepared. I'm seeing all these emails going, oh, 2012 didn't happen. I knew. I just know the public so well. Okay, there you go. And the mainstream media thinks you're so stupid. That they're going to tell you, I said that to try to discredit me. Are you really that dumb, folks? No, you're not. It, and it doesn't matter. Some people are dumb. They're going to watch Piers Morgan, half a million of them a day. The majority are going to listen to shows like this and are waking up. But the last thing you got to wake up to is they are creating the illusion they've got momentum to take your guns. The illusion that Obama really won. We've had top election fraud experts on who are nonpartisan like Bev Harris. The other puppet won, but they had it rigged that way too. They want to, oh, oh, it's a, it's the end of libertarian and conservatism. This is a mandate for socialism, so say the socialists. It's a mind game. It's a hoax. Go to Republican and Democratic Party events and shout them all down. The real Tea Party. All parties. Go after them all. They're bankrupting America. The Republicans are going to give tax increases Clinton didn't even dream of because it's better than Obama. See how that game works? It's, look, Boner and all, I know he says his name's Boehner. Brett Favre says his name's Favre. It's Favre. How do you say Favre's real name? Favre. Favre. What's wrong with that? Boner. Favre. We're done with all of you. All of you boners. Let's go ahead and go to your calls here quickly before we go to break. Come up with another segment of calls. Look at these loaded phone lines. Who should I go to first here? Who's up first? Solo Cat from Nebraska. You're on the air, evil American. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi, Alex. This is Soul Cat 1980. Uh, I have three quick points. Um, 
my buddy found a tracker chip in the handle of his pistol. And I don't know if many people know about that. Oh, you didn't know about that? To... Most new guns uh, have uh, RFID trackers on them, sir. Yeah. Well, everybody gets one. What's wrong with that? Yeah. All the new and tires have tracker chips on them. I mean, the NSA tires? admits they're spying oh. on you. I thought I was a conspiracy theorist saying the NSA was spying on us through keywords. Now they admit that they're doing it illegal. I thought I was a conspiracy theorist. They come after our guns. Oh, now they are. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And I also wanted to make the point that uh, over the past few days when I visit your site, it doesn't happen every time, but every once in a while, I don't know if there's an ad that's linked to your site that's doing it, but it gets my uh, browser gets hijacked off onto another site as your site is. No, no, what's happening is no. that's system-wide. We looked into it. It's a bunch of viruses that are based on the browser you're using and then an index that's in that virus. It's not us. It's also, if we even link to mainstream news now, when you follow the link, the mainstream news has it, loads back on, and then whatever site you went to the link on, it loads when you go to it. I forget the name of it. My IT guys were telling me about it Friday. But th yeah, that's not us. Uh, we sent out an email to people. I forget the name of it. They said the name of it. It's like Black Hole something, I think. It's, it's all over the web. It's something like 56 million servers are infected, okay? So, I mean, it's, 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 it's everywhere. Well, I know you guys weren't doing it. I just wanted to make sure you were aware of it, what was going on. Yes, we're aware of it, yeah. and it is, uh, it's is—it's embedded in images, not ours. We can't hot link to images now, and we can't even have, like, boxes that open up on the message board that show other people's websites because it can come through there. I mean, the web... The web's going to have more and more of these problems. God bless you. I appreciate your call. And then they're going to use that to take over with cybersecurity. Just like they launched Stuxnet a year and a half ago against Iran. And our government, who designed it, then said we need to take over the web because of Stuxnet. Dan in Oregon, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, Alex. How you doing? I just had a comment and a question. Uh, my comment is I, I can't even see how people watch MSNBC I just watch it to get a laugh and see what, what they're talking no, about. No, no, every time I tune it in, it's like all whites are racist. Owning guns and having children are racist. Fathers are racist. Socialism is the only way. Mao Zedong was good. I mean, it's bizarre. Yeah, they lie about the Second Amendment. It, oh, only police and military should have any guns. Look, look, it's they did a report a on me and Ron Paul last year and said, Ron Paul wants to kill people and wants violence. And then said, here's the clip of Alex calling for violence. And they cut to a clip of me reading a news article saying violence isn't good, but clipped it. I mean, they, look, they treat their audience like they're garbage. Because most people in this country that watch, there's people that are so in a trance, they don't know anything. Like in Oregon, where I'm at, people think the Obamas, the Soteros are so wonderful and they're eating ice cream in Hawaii. And, and I go, no, this, I, I can't even talk to people anymore. It's so liberal here. And, and people are just so gone, and they're just in their cars driving with this look on their face. People are just in a trance. You know, and it's, Sir, know, they're medically it. in a trance. I've shown the articles. Just type in television Alzheimer's, BBC, AP, Reuters. And this stuff's actually in the mainstream news. They're not even denying it. The general public has now lowered their brainwaves the last 50 years. IQs have lowered physically. And people are in a near sleep state. They're just these I, little jellyfish, lazy jellyfish that kind of just, uh, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I, I, I just, I, I try to talk to people about stuff, give them an Obama deception movie, people are just in a trance. No, that's My what it is. is. Piers Morgan is king of the zombies. He wants you to be a dumb zombie because he's not a real man. He needs a dumbed down fluoride head on GMO to control so he can feel big. Alex Jones here with a well, Hollywood and the mainstream media ran the hoax that December 21st, 2012 was the end of the world. We said it was a fraud. That was not a hard call. And here we are still alive, and now they're going to blame the alternative media for the hoax when they're the ones behind it. Uh, that's how they work. They count on you being dumbed down and unconscious. They're also running a new hoax uh, saying that 20 dead children in, uh, out of a country of 315 million uh, is the end of the world. It's sad for those children, but the system is using this to enslave us. We're going to cover statistics with Paul Watson coming up in the next segment. Here's a town hall article. I saw this a few days ago, never got to it. There's video. Obama called a newborn baby a fetus outside the womb. People thought it was a typo that he messed up. No, they're now saying children up to three are fetuses, and the new bioethics boards are calling for them to be killed up to age three. You think I'm joking? Look it up. It was the Journal of Bioethics earlier this year. 
Uh, and again, we'll cover all this throughout the uh, week on the weekday show. Let's race through your calls. Quick comment from each caller, Dylan, Lindsay, and others. Dylan in Arkansas, you're on the air. Uh, Bloomberg says uh, that he wants to have all your guns banned and that Obama is set to try to physically make you turn them in. Cuomo says, and they're going to pay you money back for them. Uh, how's that sound? Hello? Yes, Dylan. Hello, man? You're on the air, buddy, right yeah, now. Okay. I do not intend to turn mine in. And I think these gun buy buyback programs are ridiculous because criminals aren't going to turn theirs in. But uh, what I called for was I wanted to make a suggestion for another petition on the White House website, and that is that the president make the White House a gun-free zone, that if he thinks that gun-free zones in the school Pure make genius. the school children safer, then the White House should be a gun-free zone to make the president safer. And all the Pure genius. Pure genius. One. Pure genius. I will call... Kurt Nemo or Adon Salazar or Watson, one of our seven or eight writers, I will, in fact, I'm going to codify this. You're absolutely right. We should start, like Jesse Ventura said last Monday on the show, we should start, in fact, Ventura said make it a gun-free zone. So we should call for the White House, since guns are so bad, period, that it should be a gun-free zone as an example. And to be sarcastic, say our military should lay down their firearms. Of course, it's what the UN wants in the end game, anyways. Uh, go ahead, genius Dylan. Yeah, well, um, well, if it makes the school children safer, then logically it should make the president safer. And uh, of course, uh, <clears throat> of course, the whole problem is then you know, that the uh, Fast and Furious operation shows that the Obama administration is total criminals. They're willing to give grim guns to criminals and get hundreds of people killed for that. And the idea that we're going to be safer with only these monstrous criminals having guns, you know, is just totally ridiculous. That's right. We should also should have a petition to. Um we should also have a petition for Obama to fake cry like he did for the poor Sandy Hook kids, for all the hundreds of kids he killed in Mexico with Fast and Furious. Great points. Thank you so much, Dylan. Uh, and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I know some national Republican talk show hosts that will go unnamed have said, don't sign White House petitions. It'll give them a list. John Hancock signed his name on the Declaration of Independence. If you're afraid of being on list, move to North Korea. It's that attitude that will give you North Korea. Here's an analogy. I've noticed on the hike and bike trail, even in 20-foot wide areas, the bike riders, even in areas they're not supposed to be on, the mountain bikers, think it's their area. And everyone gets out of their way, so they'll come over to where you're at and then tell you, you, should, you know, get out of my way. So a guy told me to get out of his way yesterday, and I said, man, you were just 10 feet over there. And he kind of bowed up, and I said, what are you, big tough guy? And he went, oh, and grumbled off with him and his buddy thought they were going to intimidate me. Same thing with cops and government. They've bowed up to us so much, and we've acted like we're bad guys. Oh, yes, sir. I watch people on the hike and bike trail. They cower when bikes come with a 10-foot wide deal over to the side, and oh, oh, my God, you're my king. It's the same thing with government. Stop cowering. And again, I've been watching. I'm going to go hide a camera in the bushes, and I'm going to videotape this on the hike and bike trail and show people groveling to the bikes because they're about two feet higher than you. They literally, not all of them, most of them are nice, but every tenth bike is a control freak. And they'll actually say, get out of my way. And I'm like, I'm like, and the guy stopped and bowed up. I said, well, I don't want to say on air, but I... I just told him, I said, listen, tough guy, go ahead and do something. I'm going <laughs> to, of course, he got all upset with him and his buddy and left. See, they wanted to have the symbol of dominating me, not actually do it. But you think you're going to like dominate Captain Caveman right there on the spot, do you? Okay, let's go ahead. And again, it's not that I'm like, nobody's going to dominate me. I'm real friendly and nice till I sit there and watch these people. And the bike riders are just like government. They're just like government. They think they're your God, and your bending over has made them think they're God. You ever run from a dog, comes running out of its house? You run, what happens? You get bit. You say, go inside, dog. It backs off. Government's got to be told, you're the servant. Back off right now. That is actually the voice I said. I said, all right, tough guy. You're bowing up. Get off the bike right now. You're looking at me too? Come on. Let's put something behind all this. Anyways, and it wasn't because I was wanting to be loud at him. I just wanted him to know, listen, I'm not here to bend over, pal. Let's go ahead and talk to Lindsay in Texas. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. How are you today? I'm pretty good. Um, I just want to tell you that I have been listening to you for about four years. I am a tangy tangerine buyer. And I went ahead and signed up for your year program the other day because I, ha I, I, I want to see you in the evenings, too. Um, my well, thank you for the support. Is, I, 
Well, you you know, you totally deserve it. You deserve it. You uh, fanatical or not, you speak some truth. My oh, friend. I am you fanatical. I'm red-blooded, man. Listen, well, you to back it up. Yeah, thank you. Go ahead, ma'am. Um, I just, I was really calling. I uh, One of the reasons that I went ahead and bought the year membership to Prison Planet TV was I was a little freaked out on Friday when the Secret Service visited you. Can you speak on that this afternoon? How did that work out for you? Oh, oh, about the Secret Service visit Friday? Yes, I showed that to my father, who has been a practicing attorney in Texas for 30 years, and he was absolutely astonished. Oh, yeah, the Secret Service, has come, they come here on average about once a year, and the subpoena, as usual, said I couldn't say what it was about. My lawyer obviously says generally I can say that it was not about us, it was about idiots on the message board calling for violence, and uh, they were here for a single IP address on a single fool. I mean, again, folks, don't go to the Infowars.com message board or the comments and uh, call for the murder of this this public figure or that public figure that's in government. Uh, or the, I mean, I think there's been like three or four people over the years arrested. I mean, uh, but again, once it's in the news, if they arrest the guy, uh, I can talk about it once it's in the news. But that's basically it. Well, I sure am. I sure am glad that you are uh, at your desk this Sunday afternoon and. Uh I'm trying to turn some people on to things like Agenda 21, and people are just, they think it's a unicorn. It's absolutely crazy. Oh, yeah. Well, Mayor Bloomberg, who is a big real estate mogul on top of all his other activity, they want to raise property taxes where about 80% of the money you pay is in taxes. And so instead of living in a 1,000-square-foot apartment, you live in a 200 to 250. She, but, but, but then he's going to you know, be worth $25 billion and have giant 70,000-square-foot uh, you know, you know, palaces or whatever. I mean, it is a total joke. Mayor Bloomberg is an authoritarian pig. God bless you, Lindsay. Thanks for putting up with us. Jeff in Delaware, last caller for this segment. Go ahead. You couldn't be any more correct when you said that people are fearful of this government. I am sickened at the height of how people are fearful of we this We better government. not sign a petition. They'll get us. Yeah, we better, I, I we this, better get I, scared. People actually do this on the hike and bike trail. In one area, it's 20 feet wide, and they get up against the bushes and go, uh, uh, when a bike comes by. And I'm, and the bikes will come over to show you they're dominant. And my new thing is, ah! I mean, literally, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if you visited the message board. I've been a, um, a follower of yours for quite a while, and I posted a message on your board saying how I even backed up these downtown vision people from putting extra cameras. And I've had one even follow me for over a week. And Engage them. There's down. more of us than them. They've got their UN Agenda 21 operatives everywhere, taking everything over, community organizers. Engage them. You can walk out on any city street and their operatives are out there. Engage the enemy. It is a war. Engage them in InfoWars. Start YouTube channels. Start local blogs. Start newsletters. Go to local talk stations and say, I want to do a one-hour-a-week show. Show them your YouTube videos. They'll put you on air. Engage. Become leaders. Fight them. Crush them. Defeat them. David, William, Jay, Chris, Chuck, I apologize. I don't have time to get to you because Paul Watson's coming up with a segment from InfoWars Nightly News. you got to get in a maniac mode. Most people get in a maniac mode about sports, not about freedom. They're putting cancer viruses in the vaccines and sodium fluoride. Harvard admits that brain damages you in the tap water of the toothpaste. You need to get upset about that. Get upset about the new world order. Sick of the globalist eugenics.